Hello, in this video I'm going to explain how to connect DVP16SP to the uh, Delta PLC CPU. So here we have, we can see these uh, two parts of the PLC, Delta PLC. The first one is the DVP20SX2 and the other one is the extension DVP16SP. So after we finish the connection, we can see uh, the program and how to control the DVP 16 SP from the CPU from the DVP 20 SX2. Here we have this is the program. Uh, I make this uh, program to test the PLC. So M4, for example, I connect M4 to Y1 and M7 to Y20. So what is Y1 and what is Y20? Y1 is for the first PLC. So Y1, when I turn Y1 on, let's see. The first one here we have Y1 will turn on. Okay, so this is Y1. Okay, let's uh, execute the program. Okay, I have a problem. I have to turn the PLC on. Now, after I turn the PLC on, I can connect it to the program. And I downloaded the program before. Now, if I turn M4 on, okay, so this means the first PLC uh, Y1 will be on. And if I turn M7 on, we can see Y20 is on. I turn M9 on, so Y22 is on. So we can see here we have Y2 is on too, Y0 and Y2. So why we start with Y20? Now if we go back and I select help, PLC instruction. In the PLC instruction, I can see here I write extension and select the second one so here the CPU my CPU that the CPU was SX2 so I select SX2 series scroll down and let's see here here we have number four we read number four and at the end of number four we have extension input start from X20 and extension output start from Y17 so when I uh, use the extension I start from Y17 to represent the first output so here if I want to represent Y0 I must start with Y17 really I don't know why but uh, when I used Y17 nothing happened okay then I try uh, some other values and when I use Y20 instead of Y17, I got the solution. So I have Y1 uh, turn on. So Y1, uh, or sorry, Y0 turn on when I have here Y20 turn on in the letter diagram. Another thing, if I click on the edit uh, monitor device, so here I have the uh, 1142 this is the represent the number of input X on digital input output model so we can see we have eight input for the auxiliary and also in D 1143 this is represent the number of output pins Y so you can see here we have eight output pins for the auxiliary so we can see here in the auxiliary or in the extension we have eight inputs and eight outputs what about if we connect another extensions for example another two uh, dvp 16 sp so now we have three dvp 16 sp and one zero eight sm this is just to represent the inputs so you can see here we have the number of uh, outputs the number of outputs is 8 multiplied by 3 so it's 24 and the number of inputs is uh, I think 32 inputs 
now after I uh, connect other extensions let's see what will happen in the in these values so now I have connected uh, the other extensions and we can see we have uh, 32 inputs and 24 outputs if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you